gave you some homework. Um, it was give me the three coaches not named Matt Painter that you would love to play for. So current, three current coaches right now in Division One yeah. that you would just love to play for for any reason. It could be for entertainment reasons. It could be for the reasons of just you know you'll get better with that dude. Uh, whatever it is, um, you got three. I got two. I'm trying to fill it out. I think I got three. I think I got three. So start with your first one. All right. My first one is easy, I think. I'm guessing you'll have it too. My first one is Jay Wright. I just, I think. I, I don't have Jay Wright. I don't have really? Jay Wright. I don't. He's, he's in the equation. I didn't pick you. Yeah. I just think that in my limited interaction with him, I've always enjoyed being around him. I yep. think the way he teaches fundamentally is as good as anybody in college basketball. They win. Um, I think he does it the right way. And I think he's a guy that when, when you go to college, and I was lucky because I, I do think that the guy I played for was really good at, you know, instilling things outside of basketball. Yeah. And I, I do think that Jay Wright has that quality as well. Uh, here's why here, Here's why I didn't pick Jay Wright. Because I know me, and I know I couldn't play for Jay Wright because I'm too emotional, and I'd be like – And you're you not know, any – Good. <laughs> you got to be robotic. You you can't show any emotion right now on that Villanova program. And I'd be swearing. Yeah, it, it wouldn't work. I just know I couldn't play for Jay Wright. The biggest problem is you're not good enough to play for Jay Wright. That's your biggest problem. <laughs> well, like yes, happy, that plays it's in. Like happy Gilmore. It's like a happy Gilmore. If there's only one problem, Jeff. You're not any good. That's the only problem. That's the problem. Not playing for Jay. Very true. Okay, we'll we'll start there. We'll start there. Uh, who's your second guy? This might not be – well, no, probably. Bill Self. This dude is the best coach, one of the best, top three for me, X and O's guy in college basketball. Yes, there's been some NCAA stuff, um, but I think his relationship with his players is fantastic. Honestly, when you talk to Coach Self, he, he makes you feel like a million bucks. He really does. He's a great people person. But I think the X and O's is what stands out for me. He runs stuff that is so good. After timeout, I think he's the best in college basketball. He just he, – he morphed his personnel when he had bigs. They went high-low. Now they've got guards. Yep. Guys get better under him. They win not always having McDonald's All-Americans. I mean, the team that, that my last college game was against, they ended up going to the national title game. I don't think they had one McDonald's All-American. Now, Thomas Robinson had become a lottery pick Tyson. with the NBA first round pick. Yeah. Um, you know, Tyshawn Taylor, NBA player. But no, they just had, they, they all got better. You know, I, I think Bill is a really good coach. Agreed. So I should have, I'm going to let you finish and then I'm going to pick three that you did not pick. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. That's finish. My, so my last one, I think, will surprise you. Really? I'm going to go Bob Huggins. I had him. Oh, I had Huggins I written down. Yes. I, I yes. love Coach Huggins. I yep. love talking to him. Yep. I think uh, he's another guy that, even though he might scream at you, he loves his players. Yes. I just, I love the toughness. I think I would have been okay to handle what he was bringing. Oh, I, you play hard, he won't yell at you. You know, like he, he's not like totally out of his mind. He's yelling at you because you're not playing hard or not doing what you're supposed to be doing. I will say this. So when I – we played a home-and-home home against West Virginia my junior and senior year. So my senior year, I was out for the year. Okay. So we, we roll into to Morgantown. We practice over at the arena. And some people might take this as a negative. I think it's awesome. I'm rehabbing my knee. I go in the weight room to do some exercises with our trainer. And on every squat rack, there's signs that say, fuck Purdue. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. So every time you went in there to do any type of, of lift, you saw fuck Purdue. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is so West Virginia. Yes, yes. They're tough and they're grimy. Yes. And they, I was yes. just like, this is tight. I, I thought it was awesome. So I'm with I, you with I, hugs. I would like to play for hugs yeah. if I couldn't play for fan. I think he's the man. A hundred percent. I, I I'll, Again, I'll pick somebody else. But uh, to me, the other thing that would be great about hugs is like, you know, you get in trouble like on campus, you know, doing something. I know you've done it in West Lafayette, maybe going out, having a couple. 
Hugs isn't going to get in you on you. Like, like just play hard, like play hard on the court. You can play hard off the court too, but as long as you're playing hard on the court, that's all Hugs cares about. And he is a player's coach and he should be in the hall of fame this year. I hope he gets in this year. So, all right, you got your three, your three, uh, again, self Jay Wright, Bob Huggins. I'm going to pick three other guys. I'm going to start with, uh, your guy. And I think he's the most normal head coach, high major head coach in the country, and that is Matt Painter. I will say he's the most normal human being of any head coach in college basketball. Am I wrong there? No, you're totally right. A guy that is fun to hang out with, fun to have a beer with, watch a Cubs game. Easily. No no ego. I would have, but obviously it was the the exercise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a hell of a coach who's adapted. He's great with people, with players, with anybody. He, he's well-versed on everything. He is. He gets the issues of the big picture of college basketball. Yes. yes. He would I, be easily. I could play with for Painter any day, any day of the week. I, I think he'd be terrific. I don't know if I could make it under Painter, but those three-hour practices, I don't know that if I can make it. Anymore. He's, he's changed that stuff. He's, it's sure. <laughs> All right, it's been short. Uh, I'm I'm shocked you didn't pick this guy. I am shocked you didn't pick him. From you growing up in Valpo, how did you not pick Scott Drew? He would be right there, too. He totally would be right there. Listen, he'd be fun to play for as well. And obviously, a really good coach. And he was on my short list. Yes. I mean, as you know, I'm not always the most positive individual in the world. Some people some positive reinforcement in your life. Yes. Yes. Like maybe Scott Drew could change me, Rob. Maybe if I was around him for four years, I could be a glass half full type glass full type of guy, not half full. I don't think Jesus Christ himself could change you. So Scott (laughs) Drew, I I think the world of him, but I don't think he could either. I love Scott Drew. I'm like I, he he would be a blast to play for because again, what his what does he do? He get he he just fills guys with confidence totally. and does it the right way. To me, he's kind of the anti um, Billy Clyde Gillespie. The, the the guys that I've said are are negative and try to rip guys down and don't put their 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 arms around them. It, Scott Drew has shown you can do it at the highest level and right. and, and do it with. You know, again, not misery. It, it's it's such a, a strong, positive approach. And, and it has worked. And, and again, I could play for him uh, yep. in a heartbeat. All right, so I got one more. It was going to be Huggins. Now I got to pick another guy uh, that I would uh, want to play for. Um, who would it be? I'm looking Mark around. Few. Mark Few would be out there. What about Rick Barnes? Rick Barnes, a riot, a good coach. Yeah, he'd be a fun time. He'd be in the mix. I mean, Cooley, the two I saw last night, Cooley and Willard, uh, Cooley would be a blast to play for. Um, uh, Try to think. What about Tom Izzo? Izzo would be great, yes. I'm I'm looking for somebody a little bit outside the box, if I could. Um, I might go Beheim. I mean, you can sleep in. You don't have to get up and go to shoot arounds. I am surprised. I mean, not that he's obviously a great coach. I'm just, I, I've always just heard his personality can just kind of bear on you. I, I love him. I love him. Here's what I love him. I love him because, again, there's no bullshit. That's what I love. Like, I miss that. I, I can't sift through the bullshit from coaches. I need guys that are going to tell it to me straight which Bayheim has done several times. That's why I got along with Jim Calhoun great. Jim Calhoun yeah. would MF me. If if I said something, wrote something, he would MF me, and then the next day, it'd be over. Right. There's no grudge held. It's, no. You know, and, and move on. Right. Bayheim, same thing. We went at it years ago, and you know what? We moved on, and, and no hard feelings. And to me, it's if you got a problem with me, it's something I wrote or said. Tell me why I was wrong. I want to know. Like, I got no problem. I'm not going to be right about everything. Come on. You know that. So in this business, if you have enough opinions, you're going to be wrong on a lot of them. You're going to be wrong sure. on a lot of them. Uh, like I was wrong about Maryland's bench. 
or, Lame- or Lamella Ball as I watched him murder the Pacers last Yes, night. we were both wrong about Lamella for different reasons. You were wrong because of the father. Yeah, I, I was wrong. That. I was wrong because I had spent too much time around him as a young kid, yeah, as a like young, everything. immature kid. Totally. That was my problem, to be honest. Is I just like how many kids up. are going to thrive in that setting? Hey, go play in Lithuania. Right. Right. Where as an adult, I wanted to literally leave immediately as a player. And he's 15 or 16. Yes. You're not going to have a chance. Nope. It's you got no chance. No chance. 